hey welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to tell why your listing is not showing on your teespring store there are four main reasons why your listing may not show up on your teespring store and we are going to discuss each of those reasons and address with a solution the first or the most common reasons why your listing is not showing up is because it has ended so there is a print cycle once it ends then your listing will not be active anymore so it will come under the ended category and to relaunch you have to click on this button so that this listing becomes active again and people will be able to buy it on your store so that's the number one reason to find your product all you have to do is go to this filter area and click ended that's how you can find the listings that are ended because let's say by default you have only the active option filtered in that case you may not even be able to see that listing and you might freak out what the hell is happening to see your listing you have to go here from the drop down you have to choose ended that's how you can find your listing and if it is ended then you can go ahead and relaunch this is the one of the most common reasons why people they don't see their listing on the teespring store however there are three other reasons which we are going to discuss right away the second most common reason is they have not connected their listing to their teespring store they will have a very good design uploaded on a nice looking products and maybe all other uh, related or relevant products but you know they may not have connected it initially if you go to the next page and let's say you pick a few other products here and click continue so let me give it a name uh, pride so this is a pride month and these designs tend to sell well on print on demand platforms like redbubble and if you have a good audience related to this niche then probably teespring is also a good website so i just didn't create this design i went to vexels.com and then i downloaded the design because i can use it then let's say we go here okay i don't know why but earlier there used to be an option where you can skip this particular section where you can say i will add it to the store later and if that is going to be the case then that's the reason why you are not able to see your listing on your teespring store however you can add that to your store by just going to your store and edit the products and then go ahead and then add it so that also another way you can do it probably i think i have already created a video on how to go ahead and edit your products you can check out that video on my teespring playlist the third reason why you may not see it is because if you go to your listings and if you click on the settings button you'll be taken to this page on this page there is a visibility uh, section so in this particular section let's say you have set it to private in that particular case only you will be able to you know access that listing and it is not out for people to buy or it is not available on your teespring store so from let's say someone comes from your pinterest account and visits your store then they may not be able to see it for everyone to see it you need to keep public let's say you want this listing to be available only for some special users or some special audience in that case you can make it as unlisted so whoever is having access to that particular url of their listing only then they can go ahead and buy it so make sure this option is set to public so that it is showing up on your store this is also another reason why your listing doesn't show up because sometimes people go ahead and change the visibility by some mistake and you know they forgot to change it back to public so make sure it is set to public so that you can have your listing show up on your teespring store the fourth reason is because you have archived your listing so let's say that by mistake you have archived your listing you can unarchive by clicking on this button so it's more like deleting a listing let's say by mistake you have deleted the listing uh, it goes to a recycle bin that's how you can call it basically archive unarchive is just to you no know, keep it in a buffer zone where you know no one can access it even uh, you cannot go ahead and start editing if you want to make some changes you have to unarchive and then do it probably you can edit the design i believe just that it won't be available it's more like you are making changes and saving it and everything is going to be uh, available on save edits will reset the listing print cycle okay fine so i think probably once you start editing it is going to you know set it to active let's save edit and let's see what is going to happen error oops something went wrong please try again okay i think probably that is because we have this listing 
set as uh, archived so probably that's one of the reasons let me go and select archived okay as you can see this is archived so you cannot edit or do anything first you need to unarchive once you unarchive it will be you can find it in the all listings because probably it is uh, not yet relaunched okay so once it is unarchived then you can go ahead and edit the listing and then you can save it and then it will be available on your store just make sure um, you know it is relaunched I think if it is not relaunched people will not be able to buy it but still it might show up on your store so make sure it is relaunched uh, and I think you should be good that's all I have for you guys in this video I'll see you in another video until then bye bye take care have a great weekend